Hey guys, if you've started trading stocks or stocks and options, there's a term that you may hear, or actually four terms. It may be realized gains, realized losses, unrealized gains, and unrealized losses. I'm assuming that for those investing, they're aware of what those means. But for any who are still confused with it, I wanted to put a video out to let you know or understand what that means. So we're going to go through a few examples here. And um, let first let me give a definition. A realized gain results from selling an asset such as a stock at a price higher than the original purchase price. So let me give an example so that will be understandable. We're going to use a fictitious company. It's called ABC Company. Now, ABC Company is $100 a share. And you bought 10 shares of ABC Company. That means that you bought $1,000 worth of ABC Company, 10 shares at $100 a share. Let's say that that stock's price rose $10 per share. So now you have your total stock's value went up from 1000 to 1100 10 times 10 100 so your stock's value went up to $1100 which means you have a total profit of $100 now if you sell the stock at that point you have what's called a realized gain of a hundred dollars that's one hundred dollars in your pocket or brokerage account of profit on your trade in other words it's a realized gain because you actually sold the stocks and you made the money you made a hundred dollars profit now the next one is what's called an unrealized gain. An unrealized gain results from owning but not selling. Owning an asset such as a stock at a price higher than the original purchase price. So you bought 10 shares of ABC Company for $100 each. That was $1,000. And the stock went up $10 per share. So now the stocks that you own for $1,000 are now worth $1,100. That's a total profit of $100. So you own the 10 shares of stocks that increased in value by $10 per share or $100 total. But since you still own the stocks, you have $100 in unrealized gains. In other words, you still own the stock, and the stock is worth $1,100. It's worth $100 more than when you bought it. But you never sold the stock, so it can go down tomorrow or it can increase even more tomorrow. So you will have a hundred dollars profit, but that hundred dollars is unrealized gains. It's not realized gains. It's only realized gains if you sold it and now you have the money. But since you own the stock, but you haven't sold them yet for the actual gain in your pocket or in your brokerage account, it's an unrealized gain. Now let's go to the next one. That's realized losses. And it's going to be a similar situation. 
A realized loss is a loss that is recognized when assets are sold for a price lower than the original purchase price. So, you bought 10 shares of ABC Company for $100 each. That's $1,000 worth of ABC Company. And then the stock dropped $10 a share. So now you've lost $100. The total value of your stock is now $900. You, if you sell the stocks at that point, you have a realized loss of $100. Now instead of having $1,000, you only have 900. So in other words, if the stock goes down by $10 a share and you sell it, then you have a realized loss. On the other hand, unrealized loss results from owning but not selling an asset such as a stock at a price lower than the original purchase price. So, in this case, you buy 10 shares of ABC Company for $100 a share. That's $1,000. And the shares lose value. They lose $10 a share. So, they're now only $90 a share. So, the total value of your 10 shares is now only $900 for a loss of $100. But you still own the stocks. You own 10 shares of stock that dropped in value by $10 per share or $100 total. Since you still own the stocks, you have $100 in unrealized losses. In other words, until you sell the shares, they're not realized losses. So the stock can go back up tomorrow, and you didn't lose anything. So a realized gain and a realized loss is when you actually sold it, and you have those results. And an unrealized gain and an unrealized loss happens from day to day as it goes up and down, but you still own it. You haven't sold it. Now, in terms of your taxes, and you want to speak to a tax attorney who understands stocks, or particularly options if you're dealing with options, these work against each other. In other words, if you have a few, well, currently, unrealized gains and unrealized losses are not taxable. I've seen things over the internet. I don't know if it's true, but I've seen things over the internet saying Biden is trying to change that. But in terms of realized gains and realized losses, those can be written off against each other. So, in other words, if you have realized losses for the year and you have realized gains for the year, it's not as if you're taxed on all of the realized gains. You can write off your realized losses against your realized gains and only be taxed on the realized gains you have over those realized losses. I would speak to a tax attorney who understands stocks or particularly options if you're going to be dealing in options to get the full story on that. But in any event, that is what unrealized gains and unrealized losses and realized gains and realized losses is. So in any event, I look forward to speaking to you guys in the next video. Have a great day.